I kind of loved that and it kind of made me want to thrive, you know, in the future of my college, you know, life. And then also just, oh, can I come over to your dorm? Can I, can I, can I come over? Can I come over? Yeah, um, don't we all? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, hello? Naughty. Uh, I watch, she turned the entire kitchen into a gluten free zone. Shouts out to all my friends out there who have dietary restrictions. Shouts out to all the family that people fuck about you. We care about you. We care about you. <laughs> and if they think you're annoying, who fucking cares? Because you're not annoying. <laughs> do you ever get in nonverbal moods? I do. My friends always think something's wrong with me when that happens. Just because I'm so talkative normally. Um. Sometimes I just don't want to talk. Ew, my forehead looks so greasy. Do you guys like my shirt? I got it for 25 cents. I mean, the price was 25 cents. I gave them a dollar and I told them to keep the change, but, and it's like a 4X and it's bussing. Plus it says 69. Not that I do that. I don't do any of that. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm 29, I'm celibate and I'm a lesbian. I'm not celibate forever. <laughs> Just until I find someone I actually want to have sex with. <gasps> a concept. Sorry, that sounded really fucking rude. I'm not shitting on y'all. Hook up, queens. You do you. You guys see my lesbian socks? I got them from Target. So there are actually a couple things that have changed since I last talked to you guys. Since the beginning of cancer season, so like June 21st, maybe the 22nd, I've been eating almost entirely a vegetarian diet. It's been going well. It's now August 15th, so it's been almost two months. I have had meat every now and then, um, mainly just fish. Like every now and then I'll have like some sushi or something. I, I love fish, so I guess I'm technically like pescatarian, but I'm eating a mainly vegetarian diet. But yeah, every now and then I'll eat something that does have meat in it. I think I've had meat maybe three times, maybe four in the last two months. Twice it was pasta salad that had bacon bits in it, which is like, eh. And then I, we keep offering new soups at work and sometimes they have meat in them, but like, I really want to try them. So I keep getting like, I keep getting like these little, you know, the little like sauce ramekins. I'll ask for a little shot of soup and I'll have that. So that's like my meat. That's what she said. Ugh. I'm like so tired today. Not like tired, like I could go to sleep, but like tired, like my body doesn't want to move. Like I just want to lay in bed like that, awake. Not moving. So, so I'm actually turning 30. Um, okay. So, mmm, damn. I'm turning 30 in a couple of months. Um, mmm. And the only thing really getting me through it, which I didn't think that there would be any problems with me getting through this, but. But yeah, all my favorite, all my favorite celebrities growing up were all born in the same year as me. So there's Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, Jeanette McCurdy, Nick Jonas. I am definitely forgetting some. Anyway, there are so many 92 babies. There are so many people my age. And not just are they all 92 babies, but they all had their birthday before mine. My birthday is October 11th, if you're wondering. I'm a Libra. I think that's pretty obvious. Still working on my coffee from this morning. Also, it is 1.16 in the afternoon at this point. I woke up probably around, it doesn't matter. Time time is an illusion. Time, time doesn't exist. It's not why I got that tattoo, but I think it's funny to tell people that's why. Guys, I have so many tattoos I regret. Maybe I'll make a video about that soon, but I'm not a religious person. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but I kind of have a Bible verse tattooed on me. And then I also, I don't show this one, but <laughs> Oh, well, okay, so this isn't really for religious purposes. Um, I got this, I got this after Demi got their hands tattooed with the, I didn't want to be a complete copycat, but I wanted to be like Demi. So I got this fucking monstrosity, which is like super faded. And it's been like that since it was done when I was 18. Again, I'm 29. I might've been 19 when I got it done, but yeah, at least 10 years. I'm definitely gonna do like a full video about like reflecting on my 20s and how it feels going into 30, but I just wanted to kind of like talk to you guys like a tiny bit about it right now. It's very, very, very helpful for me to have 
all my favorite celebrities from when I was a teenager, like a, a preteen to teenager, you know, they're helping me through it. I wish I had Jenna Marbles. Uh, that's a stupid thing to get emotional over, isn't it? I feel like she is so helpful to showing me that it, being 30 is no different. I've been wishing all year that Jenna would just come back before my birthday. No pressure to her. Not that she's watching this. <laughs> I understand. The fact that we got a photo of her, I literally sobbed for hours over that one photo. And every time I looked at it, I would cry again. I'll put it up if you haven't seen it. This is the photo of Jenna Marbles that was released. Stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jenna is the reason I wanted to do YouTube um, when I was younger. <sighs> Nothing like a little cry fest, huh? I got tissues, just in case. Now, from, from the time that I was 16, I wanted to be in my 30s. I wanted to be 35 and pregnant, which is crazy. But I also knew that I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to get pregnant and start a family like before then, which is a healthy, good thing for you to know as a teenager that, you know, you're not trying to have kids as a teenager, like a lot of people around me were. If you also went to school in West Texas, you know what I'm talking about. Them girlies just be popping them out left and right. It's a trend there. I don't understand. It's like one girl gets pregnant and they're like, oh my God, she's so cute. I want to get pregnant too. I'm not, I'm not trying to hate on them. It's not their fault, but it's just messed up. And I'm grateful that I didn't do that. But I feel like I spent so long wishing that I was already 35. And now that I'm about to turn 30, I'm kind of like, I feel like I just rushed. I rushed as fast as I could through my 20s. And now I have less than two months left of being in my 20s. I just wish, I wish that I had tried more in my 20s. I wish I had tried more to live for myself and not for other people. I didn't think I would be emotional. I'm really excited about my 30s. I am, but I'm also sad at how I spent my 20s. <laughs> I just feel like I was asleep for so long in a constant state of dissociation, just months, months and months and months on autopilot, sleepwalking, avoiding the causes of dissociation and the fact that I was in relationships that I didn't want to be in with people who were hurting me mentally and physically. I've never been in a healthy relationship. And that's part of the reason why I decided to be celibate for so long so that I don't get stuck in another unhealthy relationship and waste more years of my life. There's a lot of trauma that I haven't unpacked. Oh man. I'm getting hot. You also do a lot of reflecting. I mean, I don't know about you. I, I don't want to project. I've done a lot of reflecting now that I'm about to be 30 about all the things I did in my 20s. And I am regretful of a lot of things. I'm constantly regretting. In a way, I'm really excited about turning 30 because I feel like I feel like it's the end of one chapter and the start of another. I have so many firsts still to come. I've I've never been in a relationship with a girl. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I am a lesbian. And I've never been in a relationship with a girl. I've gone on dates, but you know, I've never had a girlfriend. And there's so many firsts that come along with that that I get to experience. I'm really excited about that. Just wish I realized a lot of things sooner. And I wish that I was nicer in my past. But I think it's normal to regret things. I think people who don't regret anything are never learning. They're never reflecting on everything they've done and really seeing it from another perspective. So I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing that I regret things in my past because it means that I'm gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna make damn sure not to make the same mistakes again. In an attempt to make myself feel better, as a little treat, I'm gonna pluck off the ends of my eyebrows. Because I've been wanting to do that for a minute, and I haven't. And you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just shave it? Because I 
love plucking my eyebrows. Oh, I love it so much. I usually do it every day. I'll, you know, pull any stray ones out and like clean it up. I just love doing my eyebrows. I love plucking the hairs out. Ow, I didn't mean to pluck that one. Oh, should I have done it before? I already started plucking, but this is what they look like before. My goal is to keep everything. Okay, keep everything you can see. And then all of this, gone. Guys, I don't know if it's because I cried or because I had a double cup of coffee with no breakfast, but my belly hurts. Hmm. Look at the difference. And then I, these are just like long hairs that I need to trim so that they'll have a nice sharp edge instead of, you know, the baby tail that exists. But look at the difference. On to the next one. Whoa. I just annihilated that eyebrow in like five seconds. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. I mean, I'll make it work either way. And then I just need to trim the actual hairs. But other than that, I think I'm done plucking. Wow. And I'll, I'll finish them later. I think this actually looks pretty cute. That made me feel so much better. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised I didn't just shave them off entirely at this point. There's still time. Just got my DoorDash order, not sponsored. Paper towels, more coffee, and caffeine. I still have not eaten. I'm having really bad food aversion today, but it's like 2.30 to three o'clock, I don't really know. And I, I haven't eaten, but I have had two cups of coffee plus some Excedrin, which, Excedrin has caffeine in it, so it's like I had another cup of coffee, and then I got this to drink. So even though I don't want to make food or eat it, I'm gonna. Because part of being an adult is learning that you just have to be your own parent and pretend that there's like a toddler inside you. I'm gonna rephrase that. Pretend that you are a toddler and that you also have to be your own parent. So you have to make food for the toddler, and the toddler will appreciate it. I want to make food. If you haven't eaten today or in a while, get your butt up. Get up right now. Come on, get up. We're going to go make some food. Come on. You're coming with me. We're, we're what is it called? Body doubling? We're body doubling today. We're going to make some food. Let's go. It just hit me how hungry I am. Oh my God. I'm so proud of myself. I'm the kind of person, because I have a lot of food aversions, you know, money's been tight. I suck at buying groceries. Like my shelf is always empty. I never have anything in the fridge except for like a dozen eggs. I bought all this yesterday. I was planning to just buy this, but on DoorDash, these were way cheaper than they are in the store. These are usually like $5 in the store, I think. And they were $3.85 a piece for every single Morningstar bag. I just, I just feel like such an adult. I have like all the meat substitutes. Like this is amazing for me because I'm trying to eat vegetarian. Well, I, I have been pretty successfully eating vegetarian, but this is just, ah, uh, I stocked up. I'm so proud of myself. I think today I'm just gonna make a grilled cheese and I'm gonna put this in the oven and then I'm gonna open up the grilled cheese and put this inside. I have butter bread, Kraft American cheese, and salted butter because I am an American. Like, what is it about smoking after crying that just hits different? Hits like 10 times stronger. Okay, I've got this. I am like deliriously hungry at this point. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Oh, okay. It's 2.55, so like, I thought it was gonna be like 3.30 or 4 at this point. I don't really have the best concept of time. Once again. Oh! I have, oh my God. I feel like I, I've been creepy. I have not um, talked about, oh, I don't want to. I'm a, like a little bit of a germaphobe. Not like a lot. Like I'll fucking shake your hand and shit. But then I'll probably go wash my hands afterward. I wash my hands a lot. That was really amplified because of the pandemic. I'm sure I'm not alone in that. This is hot. Are you making food? You better be. I'm sorry, did I sound mean? I don't wanna be mean.
Isn't my butter dish cute? I wish I had a lid, but um, I haven't had any problems with like, I don't know, bugs or like fruit flies or ants or anything. But I got it for a dollar at Ross. Let's pick. Bleep. Oh yeah, going back to my like anxieties, my phobias, if you will. I do have kind of like a mild case. Yeah, I really am just putting my hand on this hot lid. I have like a mild case of agoraphobia. So like that's fear of the outside world, fear of open spaces. More so I feel like for me, it's just like anxiety about what could happen when I leave the house, which yeah, I think that classifies as agoraphobia. I get most of my anxiety during that point and it used to be so bad that I would be constantly late for work every single day and then like really late and this was back when I had my own transportation like I had a moped so like it was completely up to me when I got to work and I was late every single day to the point where I had a couple days where I just completely froze up and I was hours late because I was just laying in bed and I couldn't move because I was like completely paralyzed times really scrambled around then but eh Honestly, at this point, I've forgotten what we're talking about because my brain doesn't want to think about it, so it made me forget. I have to flip this. Whoa! Y'all seeing that? Woo! I think the cheat, yeah, the cheat is all melted, so I don't need the lid anymore. But... Ooh, that warmth felt like a hug. Mmm. Mmm, that smells good. Mmm. I'm actually so excited to eat this. I'm so excited! Oh my god. Speaking of aging, even though I was speaking about it a while ago, I was just going back through my old videos and I, you know, I think there is a level of nervousness in my earlier videos, but my voice is getting deeper and I don't know. I guess that is part of like aging, but it was just something I noticed. This is a lot deeper than it used to be. <laughs> so it's Valentine's Day and I have a bunch of bleach feeling confident <laughs> that it might be a mistake. As it turns out, I'm a lesbian. I'm 27 years old. <laughs> it's definitely time for a hair transformation. It's been months since I dyed it. It's New Year's Eve and I just got a bunch of new makeup. It's now Saturday, October 9th, and my birthday is on Monday and my hair looks like this. And some people were wondering how my mental health is doing. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am fully spiraling right now. I like my grilled cheese to be real dark, like close to being burnt, but not burnt. Perfect. Can you guys see what I'm doing? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack this grilled cheese open. <laughs> Boop. Close. Don't forget to turn the oven off and the stove top and whatever else. Do I wanna cut it? I think I'm gonna cut it like this. Well, this is what it looks like. Can you guys see the steam? I always eat things when they're way too hot. Mm. Here's a tip. A tip for my fellow food aversion queens and kings. I would always try to make like really flavorful, tasty food that had, you know, a good amount of salt and sugar and all these flavors and like, and then I would never be able to eat very much of it. I would take like two bites and be done. So I found if you're having a lot of trouble with your food aversion lately, more bland foods are honestly the answer. Even though at your first bite, you're like, meh, this isn't that tasty. These are the ones, the, the, the bland stuff is always the stuff I completely finish. So I'm just saying, I do eat a lot of really good flavorful food, but if I'm having food aversion problems like today, something a little more bland like this, cause the chicken's not like flavored, it's fake chicken, just to be clear. Are these Morningstar meats healthy? I don't really know much about them. I just assume they're made of veggies, right? That's what they say. Okay, so the main ingredients, you're over here. Hi, mostly soybean and wheat flour, or soy protein and wheat flour. Tastes good to me. But yeah, when I said pretend you're making food for a toddler, I mean flavor profile wise as well. Bland foods, I don't know man, it's the answer. Are you ever so hungry that you eat your entire meal standing up on accident? I looked up on accident. 
I looked up on accident. I looked up on accident. And um, it shit it on my eye. So I <laughs> oh my god, I just remembered I have a Red Bull. A bitty bitty. Okay, imagine this shirt, right? Are you imagining it? Imagine it with like like a black underbust corset, maybe some like sort of harness, like a black harness as well, like the underbust corset. And then, I don't know, some like wide fishnets, you know, not like the really tight, small holes. Okay, I'm gonna do the dishes. <coughs> There's actually a huge storm rolling in. I'm gonna see if I can get a clip of it. Hold on. A clip of it! Sorry. I'm sweating profusely for some reason. Like, I know I live in Florida and it's August and I'm drinking hot coffee, but it's 73 in here right now? Why am I so sweaty? I should probably change my shirt, huh? <laughs> All right, back at it again with my Sookie Stackhouse shirt. I wanna like, Get a shirt that looks more like hers though. This one's like really peachy toned. I don't know if you can tell, but hers is like really like pink and then it has the black outline. I want it. If you know where to find that exact shirt, let me know. I want it. Living, loving, laughing. All right, I gotta go do laundry. Let's go. Just live, live your, your best, best life. life. 
Always, living always, loves it. I almost forgot to pack my Red Bull. I never said I didn't have a caffeine addiction, okay? DMB by ASAP Rocky gives me chills every time! Yeah. Okay.